This is the story of Teapot the Tabby. The story doesn't actually start with Teapot. It starts with a little rescue kitten named Tooby. Tooby was only a few days old when he crawled out from under a car at our house. It was clear that Tooby had been born with some form of neurological disorder that prevented him from walking and moving like other cats. He would also shake involuntarily. To this day, we believe that he was left behind by his mother because she knew she couldn't care for him and that we would be his best chance at a life. Tooby had the biggest heart and lived three wonderful years filled with love from his cat and dog siblings and his adoptive human family. Never letting his disability stop him from seeing the joy in each day. Tooby passed away unexpectedly and of natural causes in March of 2020. I felt devastated for days. It was then that I thought of all the other animals on the street who were pure of heart and desperate for a chance to be known, adored and loved, like Tooby. I decided that in Tooby's memory, I would get to know the community cats at my then apartment. One thing led to another and it wasn't long before I became a daily feeder. There were three small black children cats, one adult male black cat, and one striped cat with a pregnant stomach. It took me a few weeks to realize that the pregnant cat was just big and that it was actually a boy. Hence, we started calling him Big Boy. 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 Me and Big Boy became close, and it was clear that he was asking to be adopted. He would sit and wait for me at the lift every day, and then follow me to the MRT station. But I couldn't adopt him at the time, because our apartment was too small, and my wife was allergic to fur. And then one day, my heart sank. I saw a trapper at the apartment, and I knew that there were unhappy residents. I agonized for days. The black cats knew how to conceal themselves. Big Boy was the obvious target. He was waiting for me at the lift every day because of his attachment to me. I knew I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if anything happened to him. My wife could see how visibly upset I was, so she encouraged me to give the adoption a try. The first attempt didn't go well. He completely freaked out and broke the carrier before we could even get to the vet. I wondered whether after years of living on the streets, it would be too hard for him to adjust to domestic life and if I should just give up. The next day, I went outside and sat down on a random chair. To my surprise, he jumped on my lap for the first time and attempted to kiss me. I took this as a defining moment his way of telling me that he was committed to becoming an indoor cat and that he was ready for the change.
It turns out that my wife was only allergic to longer cat hair, a fact that we would have never known had we not tried. He never took to the name Big Boy, so we renamed him Teapot, which he loves. He became our first child, and the rest is history. Things happen naturally